This is our 2018 Neo 7 by 14 motorcycle trailer. It's got a V nose and a drop top on it. One of the things that I noticed on this is that, yeah, we're starting to get some rusty fasteners on it and they drive me crazy. When I look at this trailer and what it cost, and you see a fastener like that, that drives me crazy. And these fender screws look like And another one um, yeah it's something that I want to upgrade and everyone that I see that is starting to fail I'm gonna go ahead and replace so I went up to my local fastener place here's what I came back with a number 14 Phillips sheet metal screw it is um, stainless so I don't want it to rust but I'm afraid that it might have some kind of interaction sitting up against the aluminum so what I did is I also got a box of nylon washers I've got a drill motor with a wire brush on it the battery powered drill with the Phillips bit I have another extended assembly there with the T2 for removal of the rusted fasteners clear silicone which I'm going to put a dab on the threads of the new screws when they go in for uh, vibration purposes to keep them from walking out. There's the first one that we're going to be redoing. Um, I think I might change to just a hand brush because it kind of burnished the, uh, the fender a little bit. And so let's get the first screw ready with the nylon washer and the silicone and we'll get that installed. Well there's the first screw with the nylon washer on it. I just ran it up with a uh, Phillips screwdriver on there to the seats up against the head it's a nice tight fit so what we'll do next is we'll take some of the clear silicone put a dab a little bit on the threads so that when we install it it has a little bit of anti vibration stuff there so the screws won't walk back out well there's my little dab of silicone it's I think it's way too much so first one uh, you know first one's always trial and error we'll uh, make adjustments as we go well there's our first one installed yeah, we'll get on and get all the other ones done. I'm going to replace all the screws on the fenders and whatever ones I find that are rusty on the up rails and stuff like that. There are eight mounting screws for each fender on each side of the trailer, so I put the one screw in already, so I got seven more now prepared. So all I have to do is take out every other screw that's still on the fender. I'll replace them with the new screw with a little dab of clear silicone on it and we'll get right to that. What I did here is I started the new screw in uh, with a uh, screwdriver and I'm going to finish it off now with the, uh, with the power drill. Oh yeah, that drew it up just fine. Well, here's the fender on the other side and there's a rusty screw there. That one doesn't look too bad. But then we have another one here and another one right down there. So I'm going to replace all the screws on this fender on this side. So we'll just go ahead and get to it and get her done. Well, there's the eight that I took out of the other side, and you could see that if the head wasn't um, rusted or started to rust, the thread certainly did. Found a couple like this, so I'm going to be, play, be replacing these screws too. Yeah, it's looking like both sides are going to need replacing, and the new screws are installed top and bottom, and you know what? Yeah, and it looks great. It really adds to the looks of the trailer.